nickel pencil here and I'm gonna do kind of a rough circle because this class we're gonna do more of a little um, sketch of a tiger. So I'm just gonna go really lightly and do kind of these triangle shapes hovering above the circle for the ears. Just like that. And then I'll go in and kind of in the middle of the face right here, I'll do like the start of a nose. And it's gonna look a lot like a cat in the beginning, but that's okay because tigers are big cats. So. so now that we have this, we're just gonna go ahead and do one line down the middle, and that's gonna be the start of the mouth. And then we'll connect two lines like that. And then we'll add some kind of the almond shapes for eyes right above that. Okay. So now that we have this, we're just gonna draw kind of these squiggly lines outside of the tiger's face, kind of just to show the tiger's fur. So I'll start right here with the ear and it'll kind of just look like this. Let me kind of have this. We're just going to go ahead and keep doing these squiggly lines out, and this will kind of be the body. And we're not going to do the whole body, we'll just do like half of it. And then from this squiggly line, we'll kind of go down. This will be the start of his legs. So I'm going to start with kind of like the snout area. So I'm just going to go in and kind of do these little round circles next to the snout. Okay. So now that we have these kind of things, we're going to go ahead and in the middle of these two little circles, we're going to go ahead and start drawing the whiskers. And I'm just going to do like just really long lines, just like that, coming in both ends. And now that we have this, I'm actually going to add on to the mouth of our tiger. I kind of connected to these two little circles that I did before. And then I'm gonna do like a little semicircle like that. And it kind of looks like an umbrella. Okay. And now that we have this, I'm just gonna go in and draw two little triangles. And this will be the tiger's fangs or teeth, you could say. Next, we're going to want to go in and add the stripes of the tiger. So I'm just going to start like right here, I guess you could see in the tiger's forehead, and kind of just do the same little squiggly lines as before, except in more of a pattern. Kind of like this. And I'll just add, and I won't do the whole face, I'm just going to start the lines right here, and then I'll keep going down the tiger's body. So we'll do more squiggly lines right here. And they can all be different shapes. And some lines can be unfinished and others can be, you know, like right one. Okay. So here I kind of have my tiger's body. And I'm just going to go in, since I used pencil, and erase this circle I made for the tiger's head. And if you guys didn't use pencil and you used pen, that is completely fine. Um, you can just cover them up with more of the little stripes for the tiger. Or you could leave it, it's like a personal choice. So, now that we have a tiger that looks a little bit more like a tiger, I'm gonna go in and draw the eyes because 
think it kind of just looks like a creepy one right now with none. So I'm just going to go in and draw the pupils like that, just like another little circle inside of the almond shape that we already made. Well, this tiger has to live somewhere. He can't just be half a body floating. So most tigers live in like a savanna type jungle, I believe. I could be completely wrong. You can correct me if I am. <laughs> And so I'm just going to go ahead and draw this tiger kind of hidden between a bush. And to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and do, again, some more squiggly lines. Drawing has a lot of squiggly lines involved. <laughs> do another one right here below the tiger. So this will kind of show the bush that it's hidden in. And we can add some extra detail to this bush by kind of showing some separate branches in between. So just by kind of drawing some lines um, that are parallel to each other, you know, in no specific order, kind of like this. Well, that looks great! Adding more to kind of the background for this tiger, I'm going to go ahead and draw kind of this tree right here behind him. And I'm going to draw it kind of really, really lightly. Just so you can see that it's kind of in the background. So to do that, I'm just going to draw this line right here to kind of be the base. And then from there, I'm going to kind of extend some branches. I'm going to add some smaller ones, kind of attach to the branches. It looks a little fuller. Oh, that's great! That's awesome. The clouds. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I just like I like how you can add a good laugh. Hey. 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 Oh, that looks awesome.